Oh, okay, we just get the level select music for this. Think of fucking Butters, thank god, jeez. Yeah, oh, I know Butters from South Park, he's my favorite character. Since they're talking racist stereotypes in Butters, one of my favorite episodes is the one where they do the psycho ending, where they decide Butters has a multiple personality disorder. Oh, Morty. Well, Morty and Butters are the exact same character. That still works for me. Yeah, no, Butters goes, ah, oh, hamburgers. Uh, I'm not using that on these boys. Where? My shotgun. Stuck on the door for some reason. I'm not gonna. Oh, oh god! I t I brought it up so he got unstuck. I always feel like I waste a bunch of ammo for this gun. Plasma gun is the one gun I'm like I gotta be careful. That's very expensive. So I always just do little flutters with it. yet. Oh, it's busy. Oh, we're busy. It's a crowded room. I'm gonna die. Grab that med kit. Thank you. Oh, good. I have some of No, heck, I was looking at someone doing a horror game rankings list earlier today, and it had Deadly Premonitions on it. Like, people were complaining that like, this game and that game were too low or too high on the list. I'm like, why is Deadly Premonitions on this list? It's not a horror game. <laughs> it's like a thriller. I wouldn't call every thriller game a horror game. Like, if you're going to give it any, any like, negative emotion stereotype attached to it. I think it's a goofball comedy, myself. Mink, what's your opinion on that? Is Deadly Premonition, would you consider it a horror game? You would? Huh. I don't. They're doing the limbo, how are they scared? <laughs> Oh, you thought the world was ending. No. <laughs> then you would have never met me. Mine did the world. Because I didn't meet you yet. Yeah, so you. you Oh, I thought you meant like, I wish the world ended, because <laughs> before I met you, as I thought it was what you were saying. <laughs> Fuck you, JD. Okay, I have no shotgun, I can go back to the shotgun. Uh, there's a lot of poo water in that room. There's a lot of lost souls in there. I deal with poo water before I deal with lost souls. Just a shortcut. I was like, like, how's that a secret area? That's a baron. Okay, that was taken care of. Where were you hiding? Imps. You were hiding imps. Is there really nothing in here? Just a big dangerous goatman? This is my favorite little gear character, dangerous goatman. <laughs> Why 
wasn't that funny. <laughs> you tickling me. <laughs> what? I spent time constructing jokes and I'm like, haha, here's the funny joke. And you're like, what? But then I'm just like, poo poo pee pee papa, and you're like, <laughs> funny joke. I also know you're a big baby, yes. What? Nothing said, right? And you yell at me for bringing up dick and fart in joke movies. Oh, Did I still work on that Bob's Burgers movie? Uh, like, I feel like once every three years I hear news about it. Maybe they just crashed it during, uh... The 2020 and 20 tour, and uh, hoped everyone forgot. Or maybe I'm from a different dimension, and it's a Mandela effect. Again, first person makes it a lot more difficult. Demos Lab. Ah, oh, jeez, I just realized. Playing all these immersive sims and boomer shooters, I'm just slowly evolving into a retro streamer. <laughs> no, no more variety, only old. Complain about how games are not as good as they used to be. Claim Morrowind's the best Elder Scrolls. Start becoming more and more old. You are a chill though, yeah. It's all good. It's not, it, it wasn't a complaint, it's just... It's just one of those things like, huh. Hello? Oh. There was some secret there I missed. Don't hiss at me, we're fine. The thing I like about the Kaku game is they got little kitty mouths. That's part of the appeal of them to me. <laughs> Did 
It opened something. Probably shouldn't wave around a rocket launcher whenever I don't know what's behind the corner. <laughs> oh, hello. What's this server room nonsense? Oh, okay, now I need the rocket launcher. down, going up, I don't remember the last time I say it. Oh, what did I just do? I opened this area up, cool. I'm running low on bullets again. Okay, let's save. Oh, there's a bunch of bullets right over here. Like one of everything. And a berserk. Just gotta find me something to wallop. Okay, nothing cool here. Nothing cool here. God. That demon face that was lining the walls, it looks like the uh, main character's face from uh, Primal. The PlayStation 2 game. Where it's sort of uh, like goth Zelda. Goth Soul Reaver. You play a big titty goth girlfriend. Yeah, but like instead of being like goth, goth aesthetic, you are a big titty goth girlfriend. And you know demons, or you're just half witch or something. Anyways, a big scary demon steals your boyfriend outside of a club. So a tiny little gargoyle with a British accent, if I remember right grabs you and you have to go to these four elemental worlds and the first one's like an ice world with goat people and you absorb a soul from each world so it's i guess it's more like majora's mass than ocarina of time oh there's a supercharge in the first world it's like these beast goat people if i remember right who are living in this tundra and it's super like stone and bone cave society uh the second world is a, it's like aristocrat. I'm probably putting the worlds out of order as well. Uh, it's like a arist uh, aristocrat like style uh, inquisition and all that shit with like wind wraiths is what you become. And then there's uh, a water world where you become a fishman, of course. And then the fourth world's like this Egyptian fire shit. And you become sort of like a raw... Like a sun god kind of thing, if I remember right. And then you have to fight your boyfriend at the end, because Big Twist, the bad guys, picked him up and they're like, Hey, you want cool demon powers? And he was like, yeah, sure. Why the dink wouldn't I? Oh, hi guys. I guess it's a good sign I have not been this hallway yet. It's one of those games, like, I played it as a child at my bio dad's, and then I see it for $20 every time I go to any place that sells a uh, used game, so I'm like, mm. If it was any cheaper than $20, I'd get it. But it probably never will be. Oh, this room is red. That's another baron. All right, come on, turn the corner. Where you at?
Problemo Salvedo. Oh, hey, there's Blue Fire. <laughs> Hello? Salut? That's what I'm talking about. Like that that's a weird bug in this game. Like anytime I adjust my direction, he goes like, ugh. There we go. I was like, I know this is a secret area. Where's the button? Yeah, get that monster and fighting. You get him, Mr. Pinky. Thank you, buddy. You really helped. I remember this spine. Oh, and there's another Baron. Oh, I'm out of rockets too. That is fanta fantastic. Oh, get out of the way. I want to press this button. What's this? What did that button do? Did it let another Baron out? Or is he just wandering in there? I came from. Okay, this is where I came from. A lot, awful lot of turtling going on. Okay. Will this backtrack me? No, this looks like. So I remember that. Yep, there's the exit. I just gotta go over there. Or go over there. Let's go over here first. Hit the button. Then do that. Yay, I got no ammo. 